Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I am going to show you uh, how to apply a hex color code to your uh, Jetpack Compose project. Now here I'm going to showcase a couple of different examples and you can choose uh, which one uh, you want to take. So this is the example project which I have created for the demonstration purposes. So we have just uh, one column and that column contains a simple text on the center. So if you want to apply here a color for this uh, column, for example, let's try and add here a one a background modifier. Now this uh, background modifier accepts uh, one uh, parameter, which is a color. Now this uh, color parameter accepts a color class, which is the part of a Compose UI graphics package. So we cannot directly specify here our uh, hex color code, right? However, uh, there is a solution for that. So let me just uh, down below create, for example, uh, one extension property on a string type, and this uh, property will be named, for example, color. Now below that, let's specify here a custom getter, and I'm going to here uh, call a color uh, class, which is uh, Android X uh, Compose UI Graphics, the same class that uh, is supported by this uh, background modifier, and uh, here we need to pass uh, the actual uh, value. So as a value of the color, I'm going to call here first one parse uh, color function, um, which is a part of an Android the graphics uh, color package. And this class accepts one parameter, and that is the actual uh, hex color string. And here is the actual uh, hex color code. I'm going to specify this, uh, which will be referred to our actual uh, string on which we have created this uh, extension property. Now, uh, here in our background uh, modifier, we can call this... Uh, actual uh, hex color code, for example this one, and I can specify here this uh, color extension property. Now that warning will disappear, and let's run this example so we can see whether a background color uh, will be applied uh, in our application. And there you go, so this uh, blue uh, color has been successfully applied uh, on our background. However, uh, I do not recommend um, uh, hard coding those uh, string values uh, right here in your uh, uh, UI. Even a better approach uh, would be to create a new extension property on this uh, colors uh, class, which is the part of a compose material package. And here in the custom getter, uh, you can define uh, whether you're using a light or a dark theme. And depending on that, you can specify either, for example, this uh, blue color or, for example, a black color. And now let's call this a uh, background color property instead of this uh, hard-coded value. So let's call here material a theme uh, object, then our colors. And now we will be able to access that uh, background color, which is a custom uh, extension property that we have just created. Okay, and now let's run this um, example. So we should be able to see the same thing as before. There we go. And if we try to switch the, the actual theme in our application, then that the color will also be changed to black. Okay, and we can improve this example even more. So let me show you. I'm going to here create a new variable, for example, a blue, and I'm going to call here this uh, color uh, compose UI graphics uh, class. And then here, I'm going to just um, uh, copy this uh, actual hex color code and paste it right there. However, in front of this uh, hex color code, we also need to add those uh, four characters. So 0, X, FF. The same thing that we have uh, with those other colors. And whenever you specify those four characters in front of the actual hex color code, uh, then you are going to get the exact same color that you wanted, okay? And now, instead of this uh, hard-coded uh, hex color code, we can just call this... Um, a blue uh, variable and uh, everything uh, will work the same uh, as before. Okay, so there you go. Everything works fine on uh, both uh, themes. Perfect. So the only reason uh, why would I use this um, extension property color uh, would be, for example, when I'm trying to fetch uh, some uh, hex color code uh, from an API and I want to parse that color directly to my UI. In that case, I would just uh, call this extension property and convert that uh, hex color code which I have received from an API into the actual color that uh, Jetpack Compose accepts. Okay, so now you have seen a couple of different examples of uh, how you can actually uh, convert uh, and apply a hex color code in your uh, Jetpack Compose project. So uh, be sure to comment down below and uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next one.